These days, one of the biggest news in Iran has to be the temporary arrest of son of Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani, the chairman of the State Expediency Council, a former president and parliament speaker. The temporary arrest of Mehdi Hashemi Rafsanjani has been received with mixed reactions from ordinary people. Still, many say it shows no one is above the law, even if you happen to be the son of a prominent politician. In Iran, those who break the law are punished and those who are innocent go free. The rule applies to Rafsanjani's son and any other ordinary citizen. Uh, to build trust in the society, people should be treated equally in the law. It is absolutely obvious that we are all equal before the law. It will be an injustice if we see it otherwise. The former chief executive's son is under temporary arrest following his return to Iran after an extended absence. He is accused of playing a part in the unrest that followed the 2009 presidential election, a charge he denies. He left the country after the unrests and spent three years abroad, mainly in England. Some political currents say the recent development is designed to challenge the political position of Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani, the chairman of the State Expediency Council. The critics, however, dismiss the argument. They say this has nothing to do with politics and everything to do with being held to account for what you have done. It's an interesting question that we put to the deputy speaker of the Iranian parliament. Parliament's Deputy Speaker Mohammad Reza Bahonar told Press TV that the political activities of Rafsanjani's son might lend themselves to a wide range of interpretations, including anti-state allegations. But what's at stake here is the judiciary's independence. A just political system should never be influenced by self-centered individuals or those who believe that they are an exception to the rule of law. When public opinion points its blaming fingers towards someone, the judiciary has to investigate. But we are all innocent unless proven guilty. Even prominent political figures should be treated equally when they break the law. What's important is to distance ourselves from libel. Lawmaker Bahonar urged the critics and supporters of Rafsanjani's family to distance themselves from extremist views and allow the judiciary to examine the allegations against his son. When prominent figures of those with connections to the ruling party are under scrutiny, their supporters and critics go to the extremes. One group claims this is just a political game to mislead the public opinion. The other says the accused must be punished severely. I think both sides are extremists. We are all equal before the law. And if someone breaks the law, we should allow the judiciary to investigate and respect its final decision. Mehdi Hashemi's lawyer talked to Press TV over the phone, and here is what he had to say. Three days earlier, Rafsanjani's daughter Faeze Hashemi began serving a six-month jail term after being found guilty of making anti-government statements last year in the media. After two of his children were taken into custody, Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani told the media that his children should be treated like any other ordinary citizen before the law. Amman Oderi, Press TV, Tehran.